In this video, we're going to address the blog, how you set it up, how it works, how it can be displayed. Um, and the blog and the rest of the site are all linked to SEO. So we're doing a particular lesson on SEO. So I may mention it here, but it's not going to be in any great depth. Whereas I would strongly recommend that you look at our notes and uh, comments on SEO as well. So let's look into this. First of all, the blog, we find the blog page. Um, so it's called updates on this particular theme. You can tell it's a blog page because it's got this text in the middle, like text and on the bottom, you've got new post, blog settings and comments on the left. You may or may not have the right column, which has the author archive and categories information. That's because when you go to settings, blog settings, you get into the settings page, you can decide whether or not you want to have customized share buttons and also your blog sidebar. So you can either turn on or off your blog sidebar. Uh, the header code is for HTML for um, various analytics and other bits and pieces. Um, and then the commenting system, you've got three different types. So there's default, there's discuss, and there's Facebook. Um, obviously, if you go with Facebook, it can potentially go uh, into the Facebook feed as well. So the, the person who's commenting can choose whether they want to share it into their feed, which may, of course, help you. Um, Discuss has the same benefit in that if you've got a Discuss account, any comments you make in there will go through your social media through Discuss. And then the other one is default, which is Weebly. I've got it on default for the time being, and I've got comments open um, as default as well. So the comments are open and people can comment on it. You can decide whether the comments are going to be open or whether they're going to be mediated um, by you. Um, so I've put open for the time being. And then um, whether or not the comments close after a period of time, so after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, I've put that they never close. But of course, you can change that. And then smart capture. So we've got smart capture. I would suggest you use that. It helps to reduce spam. So it's this, are you a human box? Uh, so I would definitely incorporate that because otherwise you will get spam coming into your inbox. Um, and sp um, spam moderation through um, other AI or, or whatever they have working for them back of house. So again, I would hit smart moderation too. Um, then all you've got to do is um, have uh, a notification, yes or no. And then if you are going to be notified, which would be a good idea, have an email address that all of your notifications for the blog would be sent to. So um, once you've set all of those and you're happy with that, you hit save. So that's your basic bare bones settings set up for your blog. You've got a blog page, which you either created or was in the theme already. And this is now your blog. It's got no header, but we can choose to have a header if you want. I'm going to reduce the size of these titles just so that they sit better in the column. So I'm going to have to go down two sizes to make that work nicely. So I just select and hit minus and it takes it down a stage. Okay, um, and then you can, um, if you want to drag in a photo, for instance, of the author, then you can drag a photo in and or a photo block in and then click on it and then download um, a photo. And it can go above the author title or it can go below the author description. And then you might want to put um, a, a space then between that photograph and the archives title. So grab a spacer, pull it across, then you can adjust the size of that spacer with the bottom bar until it looks right. Okay, so now you've got a blog set up, RSS feed at the bottom. That is the feed that a feed reader would read if you had somebody subscribe to your blog and uh, with a feed reader. Uh, so new post, put in your, um, your title. We'll talk about this in SEO. So you put your new title in there. Obviously, it should be appealing and interesting to those, the target market, the people you're writing for. And then you can do whatever you like, really. So, I mean, I'm going to put in a, a, a big image and then underneath I'll put some text. Um, and then um, I'll probably have some more uh, text. I might have text in, two, in maybe in two columns so that it's laid out like a newspaper in, uh, in columns. Um, and you can basically play around. I'm then going to put in one of these breaks, page breaks, which means that when it's presented on screen, 
it'll say click to, to read more. So that way you'll get more blogs showing on your blog page at any one time. If you've selected maybe half a dozen blogs be shown, you'll get more than the first one shown if you've written quite a lot. Then I'm going to insert a, a video. So perhaps there's a video that I've done or a video that supports my blog, which I want to put in. So I'm inserting a video that can be either full size or it could be column size. And I'm using a YouTube blog for that. And then I'll just paste in the URL. Look at our other video on that if you're not sure how to do that. Um, and you can do that. Basically, you can put slideshows in there, galleries in there, um, more text. Um, uh, you could put um, quotes in there if you want to put a quote in. Um, as you see, now I'm looking at this photo and I'm thinking, right, if I select, I'll select a photo just so that you can see um, how it starts to present. And I can change the, sh the size of that photograph. So um, like, like we've, we're, again, we've shown you this in another video. And then you've got text next to it. So we'll take the photo out of the, because it was with the text, we've taken it out of the text box so that it stands independently. And then I'm just moving the, um, I'm basically just laying out now. So I've deleted a spacer I didn't need, taking the spacer off the top of the image so that it lines up better. And um, at the moment, then you can decide on the size of the photo that you want, and then you can adjust the columns accordingly. Uh, so you just click on the line and then shift drag. Okay, and then you basically fill in the boxes with the text you've got. So you'd have written the blog beforehand, probably, and then just cut and paste as you go. So the idea I would suggest, if you've written your blog already, then set up what you want the blog to look like in basic form. And then when it's filled up with text, you will not have to worry about cutting and pasting and maybe missing some of your blog that you've written. So um, it's just a matter of cutting and pasting text as you go. Uh, and then I'm throwing in here uh, a store products um, um, block. Now, we haven't got a store at the moment, um, obviously on here, so there's no store product shown. But when you click on that, and I've shown you this in another video, you can populate that box with whatever products you want or whatever categories you want. So you can put a categories box in as well, and then you could put whatever categories you want. Then I've added in social media, and then you'd manage your social media icons, as I've shown. You could copy an existing social media icons box from one page where you filled all in the links and copy it to this page. So that's all you do is click on the left, copy, and then copy to another page, and then move it to the place you want on that page. Um, okay, then I'm just popping another spacer in there, and you can see how it starts to come together. Uh, now it'll look slightly different to this when it's published, of course, but it'll look better than this because this is in a relatively small box and it'll spread out to the full page. Then you can schedule a time that you want the blog to post once you pu post it and publish it. Um, you can decide on whether you want it to be shared to Twitter and Facebook. Uh, you can decide on whether or not you want your comments, um, what allow people to comment on it or not. Um, and then you can set categories. So categories like with shopping, where you've got scarves and everything else, categories here might be on subjects or topics. So only you will know what categories are going to be relevant. But if it was about boating, you might have yachts, speed boats, rowing boats. So um, you basically then might have things like uh, weekends away or special offers. Or so you can you can decide, try and regulate your categories so you've maybe got up to a dozen categories and make sure they're relevant to your blog. Okay, so that's basically um, the blog setup and then the SEO information I'm going to address in another video. But do make sure that you include SEO. Do make sure the blog includes um, uh, SEO optimized words. Then you can either save the blog, save it as a draft, uh, or you can publish it if you're ready to go, or you can schedule to publish it. And then you can always open a draft again when you want to and adjust it and then schedule to publish and post again. It won't actually post until such time as your blog is published. And then every time you hit post, it will post that new blog.